Hi, this is the second video about the soft tissue cam lesion and I just need to do this because when I was uploading the first video and I was, you know, adding the reference, basically I was looking for this abstract that I saw, I think, a couple of years ago about the soft tissue cam lesion, I realized that there is no published literature out there from last year that I somehow missed. And it's quite a shame because we are actually in the process of uh, doing our own study about this. But yeah, we will still do it. But you know, thanks to the ethical commission from some tiny canton in Switzerland that felt, you know, they could uh, argue about tiny little details for a retrospective study, which is quite ridiculous, to be honest. It cost us now, like, it just costed us a couple of months to actually go through this whole process, which is totally ridiculous. Um, doesn't make uh, research as much as fun as teaching. So here, just a quick repetition, uh, how a soft tissue cam lesion looks like with this periosteal hypertrophy here, uh, which is not bone. And we can easily see that it's not bone when we compare at the same location, the X-ray. So let me just put this next to each other because I think this is really important to understand. Um, there it is. So we go to the same location and we can see the radiograph quite smooth. And then we have this, I know, this super this periosteal hypertrophy and bony irregularities which reflect this sclerosis up here. So this is a soft tissue cam lesion, but what is the literature saying? And I mentioned in the first video that basically um, we are doing a study at the moment looking at this lesion, a retrospective study, and there was an old abstract a couple of years ago about some soft tissue cam thing, which is, I remember, very hard to find. But uh, there is now a new study here uh, soft tissue cam from 2021 October and this is great because that's actually what we would have done or we will probably still do and publish this in the radiology literature so I haven't read the article I was just jumping straight to this video when I saw this reference let me just make this a little bit bigger here for you so you can actually read it um, basically yeah FAI in adolescence that's okay non-ossified cam lesion is not well described which is totally true and they wanted just to see the presence here and the conclusion is in adolescent patients and you can see the mean age is 16.4 years range up to 20 this patient that i just showed you was 21 years old um yeah we're identified with a soft impinging lesion at the femoral head neck junction on mri okay so maybe useful to identify these which is well not surprising right but let's have a look at their images and to be honest i haven't seen these images either okay this is just the abstract for real so i was just using my university account to get access and ultimately it's the same document it's just the abstract here i don't find the original paper um so we have to well no images nothing but let's have a look so 10% of this young population seems to have this soft tissue cam here. Um, track and field, so they look at different sports, some clinical stuff here, you know, and as opposed to the, which is quite understandable, the alpha angle was larger on MRI as opposed to the radiographs, uh, which, which makes total sense because you don't see it on the radiograph. Extension of feces, thickening, perichondral ring, thickening of the periosteum. So there seem to be different reasons for this soft tissue thing here, uh, which is interesting. Perichondral ring, which is likely just, you know, like a ring-like plica thing of the periosteum potentially. Um, and they underwent surgery even. Okay, so we don't really get any useful information out of this here. Certainly no images. So I think our study will have a little bit of a different approach and might still be valid. Um, yeah, sorry for that little rant because, you know, Ethicals Commission really try to make research more challenging and more difficult as opposed to easier. Uh, as That's certainly true for retrospective studies. I um, can't really understand why it is like this in Switzerland. Um, but yeah, never mind. So that's the reference here. So look out for our article, which will be a little bit more detailed. Thanks for watching and um, yeah, in case you haven't seen the first video now, go back and watch the first one. Bye bye.